Hello everyone, welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, in today's video, we're obviously going to be working on this. Uh, this is a 2013 model S60 T6R design, all wheel drive obviously. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a uh, Haldex rear diff or Haldex service uh, on a Haldex system where the pump goes in. Um, you guys probably saw me post a video, I deleted it, I'll explain in a second why. Uh, so today I'm going to tell you how to do it, uh, step by step. Uh, which fluid I use and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy I hope it helps somebody out you know it'll save you guys uh, quite a bit of money because it's a really service a really easy service to do at home uh, it's probably I would say probably even easier than doing an oil change uh, maybe not but it's if you can do an oil change you'll be able to do this so hopefully it will help somebody out okay so quick explanation uh, for why I took the other video down because I use the gear oil these are both gear oils this is specifically made for the Haldex system in the rear diff and this is just for the rear diff so for the mechanical part behind the Haldex system uh, so I use this fluid apparently it's not specific you know it's not for the Haldex there's a specific fluid so I had a few people tell me that so I took that video down so in this video I'm gonna be using the you know specific Haldex fluid uh, in the system the gear oil they're both gear oils but this one is a little bit thinner even by shaking it there you can tell that this one is quite a bit thinner than this one uh, so uh, I wouldn't suggest uh, mixing them up uh, I use this for the last four years and 80,000 miles in this car we haven't had any issues but you know if you want to do it the correct way make sure you get the uh, I in this case I got the Bilstein Phoebe or Phoebe I don't know what they're called the Haldex coupling right here fluid uh, so the FCP Euro and everybody sells this fluid or you can get the original one uh, whichever one I guess suits you the price difference is not huge uh, but you know it's a it's a good company so I'm gonna be using this fluid that's what they use in the Golf R's because they have the same mobile drive uh, Haldex 5 system so yeah uh, that's the fluid I'm gonna be using today uh, I use this fluid because I uh, called the auto parts store and I just told them I need the rear diff Haldex uh, fluid uh, for the Haldex system for the rear diff and they just gave me this one so I automatically thought hey you know that's probably the fluid that they use so I didn't really look into it too much uh, so you know if somebody did end up using something like this or made the same mistake I did uh, it's probably not gonna hurt your car like I said I've been using it for 80,000 miles for four last four years it, it doesn't it didn't hurt it so you know, but still, uh, I would suggest using the correct oil. Make sure when you guys call the auto parts store, tell them you need that specific Haldex fluid, not the gear oil that they used in the thing. Even if they tell you it's, you know, it's the same thing, I would try to ask for another representative or talk to somebody else or talk to a different shop uh, that actually can find you this stuff. Uh, because if they look, they can find a specific Haldex coupling uh, fluid. Either, you, if you call Volvo, you definitely get the right stuff, but if you call your auto parts store like uh, you know aftermarket if you're trying to go aftermarket uh, I would call a specific Euro parts store and then tell them you need the Haldex specific Haldex uh, fluid and they'll I'm sure they'll find you the right stuff okay so I'm underneath the car behind I got the car on jack stands uh, so to drain this fluid from the Haldex system this is the Haldex system that I was talking about you got to remove the pump so is there's two 10 millimeter bolts there's one here one here you remove that and then you unplug this plug take the pump out once you get the plug out just work the pump out slowly and then make sure you have a drain pan right underneath it to drain to receive all the oil that's going to drain out of it pretty much kind of the back lifted a little bit so uh, all the fluid can drain out I'm gonna let it drain for probably 10 minutes or so uh, once it drains out and then we're gonna lift the front and then I'll show you guys and tell you guys about how to um, 
pretty much how do you, what's the fill procedure and level procedure is how to level level it out and uh, fill it okay you guys so I'm underneath the car uh, on the ramps only the back wheels to drain it because it, it's kind of a little bit tilted the back is a little higher so I can drain more fluid out of here uh, because this is facing forward this is where the pump goes so you pull the pump by removing these two screws here right here on the pump and then uh, just lightly work the pump out and then there's a connector there right here behind this connector you unplug that connector take the pump out and you might want to click get a clean towel shop towel and just wipe it here because a lot of, we wiped a lot of nasty goo out of there uh, from inside here and then you drain the all the oil just let the oil drain until it stops uh, from your differential um, and then after you do that uh, there's gonna be a fill plug if you guys can see here uh, let me see right there on top you, so you can get either a screwdriver or usually I did it with a quarter uh, with 25 cents a uh, quarter and then you just put a quarter inside uh, that slot right there uh, and then that twists it open that's the fill plug and the level plug that you guys are gonna use so yeah right now I'm just gonna go and show you guys how to clean the pump and how to clean the filter on the pump okay so this is the plug that I was talking about right here uh, that's the fill plug or or the level plug also and then uh, yeah this is the pump that I got out so I'm gonna clean that mesh right there I'm gonna take it off you can either just clean it with brake and spray it through the mesh or you can use uh, what is this let me see a uh, T T10 Torx and then also get it out from there just unscrew it from the pump itself and just wash it wash the pump out and then wash the mesh itself as well separately whichever way you choose to do all right so you can see all the gunk is all cleaned out there was a little bit of uh, res like gunk uh, underneath that mesh right there I don't think they sell that filter separately but maybe they do I don't know uh, you guys can check that I cleaned it out sprayed it out of the pump so it's all clean now as you guys can see obviously so now uh yeah now we're gonna raise the car level again uh we're gonna raise the front so that way it's level and then uh, put the pump back in uh, lubricate the seals pump put the pump back in and then uh, we'll fill the oil i'll uh, show you what i used to fill the oil and how to level it all right so i got the pump in got the plug plugged in so i got the fill plug out so now i'm gonna fill it until it starts leaking out I got a little suction pump and I'm going to take it out of the uh, bottle right here and uh, pump it into the Haldex system until it leaks out. Then I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go for a short drive, uh, come back so that the fluid can get everywhere in the Haldex system and then take out the fill plug and fill it the rest of the way until it leaks out again. After it starts leaking out the second time, after I go for a short drive, then that's going to be the level. Got it all in, I drove the car for a little bit, filled it until it leaked out and I closed the fill clap, I drove the car for a little bit, came back uh, and then I filled it again uh, until it started draining out and then I just closed the fill plug so everything's all good now, I washed it with brake clean so it's gonna dry out and uh, yeah, that's that, that's pretty much how simple it is, it's pretty easy, uh, just tighten those two bolts, the plug and then the fill plug, that's, that, that's all there is to it. And then all, all obviously that uh, pump, the pump that you use to pump the fluid into the system. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, all you guys gotta make sure you do is just raise the car up, uh, pull the pump, drain the oil. Once the oil drains, I mean, the longer it, you know you let it drain, the more fluid comes out, old fluid. Um, obviously when it stops dripping it's already done but uh once you remove the fluid uh, from the system uh clean the pump like i showed you guys uh wash it with brake clean wash the mesh that goes onto the uh, the oval drive the haldex pump uh wash the mesh uh, and then lubricate the seals around the pump like i mentioned uh on the pump itself so you don't when you put the pump back in so you don't damage the seals on the pump themselves and your pump doesn't start leaking oil um so once you do that 
I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just uh, you got to make sure uh, you have a pump, suction pump, that you can suck fluid uh, from this uh, bottle here. Uh, I filled half, so it took half a liter. I think this is a liter. Yeah, this is a liter, so it took half a liter. Uh, if you guys do end up wasting some, it could end up... I mean, I wasted a little bit, so it probably takes a little less than a liter, but... Um, yeah, uh, this is the fluid I will include in the description below. I'll include links uh, to Amazon of this exact fluid uh, that you guys can order. I'll also include a link to the pump, the suction pump that I use on Amazon also. Uh, it's really good, it's really cheap. I've been using it for a lot of stuff. It's a really useful tool. Uh, <laughs> I haven't had it for a while, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I'll include all the links of the stuff that I used today. Obviously a bottle of uh, brake cleaner. This bad boy right here. Uh, it's gonna be really useful. I didn't have one. I had to go and grab one uh, from a store. Uh, you always, you know, you're also gonna need this um, and then uh, some sharp uh, towels. That's pretty much it. So, you know, the process, you just fill it. Uh, once you put the pump back in, fill the fluid until it leaks out, close it, drive your car a little bit. You don't have to drive for long, so that way just the fluid gets around the Haldex system. Once the fluid gets around the Haldex system everywhere and into the pump and, and, and stuff, it settles in, then you open it back up fill it some more until it leaks out then you just close it and that's the, the, all there is to it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh give it a thumbs up i'll have some more video i'll be doing a transmission service on this uh car as well i don't want to make the videos too long uh so i'm just kind of doing them separately so i can shorten them so i'll post this video today probably i think it's friday i'll edit it late or maybe saturday and then I'll have another video uh, this weekend also uh, that I'm going to do an upgrade on my red car. Um, so I'm going to be posting that as well. So I'm going to be posting a bunch of service videos, doing services on these vehicles and also some mod modifications. Uh, so yeah, I have a lot of content planned. i just been busy and yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and again, you know, uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And as usual, see you next time.